Hey everyone, this is Edward. Welcome to Video Proc Official Channel. In this series, we will introduce you the cutting skills that are extensively used in movies and vlogs. Make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. This video will show you how to use fade in, fade out, and dissolve, which are few of the most obvious transition methods to improve your video. Now, let's start with fade in and fade out. We've seen this transition a thousand times. It exists in many movies, especially for those films with a slow rhythm, and it usually presents an ending of a scene. When you are using this kind of transition, a brief black screen always needs to be added. It can be white, or black, or sometimes it could be grey as well. This black screen does not have any specific meaning. It just gives audiences time to compose themselves and get ready for the following scene and story. In Video Proc Vlogger, this technique can be achieved very easily. First of all, open or create a project. Drag the footage that you need into the timeline. And then, click the transition icon on the left corner of the interface. And those three effects correspond to fade in or fade out. Choose whatever you want and place it to where you want to add the transition. And that's it. Pretty simple, huh? Moreover, adding subtitle into the black screen can further represent the passing of time. To achieve this, a black scene should be added in between those two footages. After adjusting the length of this black scene, the fitting and fade out transition effect can be added. Then, use a text tool to add the subtitle you want, like this. Transition like fade in and fade out will give your audiences a brief time to get ready for the next following scene. And you can also separate your video into different parts by using this method. Now, let's move to another transition, dissolve. Dissolve is pretty similar to fade in or fade out. It does not include any black screen. In this kind of transition, the last shot will start it to dissolve slowly until the next shot absolutely comes out. Dissolve can make the transition more naturally and softly compared with the standard cut. On the other hand, blending two shots is also a method of dissolve. It is usually used to represent a passing of time or imagination in somebody's brain. In order to achieve this kind of transition in Video Proc Vlogger, just like what you did for fade in and fade out, drag your footages into the timeline and select fade effect in the transition. Put it in between the footages and the duration can be adjust like this. In addition, you can also create a dissolve effect with a long duration by using the overlay track in Video Pro. At the beginning, drag the main footage into the video track, and then drag the second footage to the overlay track. After that, adjust opacity in Inspector, and here you go. In general, Dissolve can be used to increase the ornamental value of your video by linking up two similar shots or representing the passing of time. Alright, now you've reached today's video about cut and transition in Video Proc Vlogger. I think you have got a comprehensive understanding to it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoy. Bye.